What's up guys, this is Jay Blonds again. And in this video by High Demand, I will be revisiting the custom slicing preset process. More importantly, I will be showing you how to take your own samples and chop them into a unique way, a unique style based on your desire. As for me, if I ever do chop a sample, it will likely be in the style of the MPC where one pad cuts another pad off. So first I will present the problem that you would naturally encounter with the Ableton default preset and then show you how to do your own. So here I have an arrangement of MIDI instruments which I will bounce down to an audio file for us to chop. So now we have our audio minus the drums for chopping. So I'm going to right click, choose slice to MIDI track, and I'm going to go with the default setting just to show you the problem I encounter. So you'll notice that these pads when played back to back overlap each other, and that's not what I'm looking for. Now sure, you can review the chain, the I.O., select all the slices, and choose the choke group. And that allows us to cut each pad off with the next pad that plays. But you don't want to have to do this every time that you slice a sample. And these macros here may not be the macros that you want to use. So I'm going to show you how to do your own macros now. So let's get rid of this track and open up a drum rack. And in that drum rack, you're going to, have to drop a simpler instrument right into the C1 pad. Then you're going to open up the macro, the chain, and the IO. Now inside the chain, you're going to set your choke value to any value. All of the slices will share the same value and settings that we add. So let's set the macro to map mode. Let's choose classic for this simpler preset. And let's add those common parameters that we'll use, such as attack, release, volume, a page over to the controls. Select spread, transpose, detune, and filter frequency, in this case for the high pass. So these are about what I use. Um, you can use more, you can use less, you can use something totally different. So I'm going to leave the map mode. Now you'll notice that all of these settings in the macro are at a minimum value, and we have to set the right value for each. The attack should be at a minimum. The release should be at a maximum. The volume should be at a default of minus 12. The spread should be at zero. The transpose should be at zero. The detune should be at zero. And the filter frequency for the high pass in particular should be at a maximum. All right, so we're done with the macros. We're done with the chain. Also, something to look out for in the recent versions of Simpler is this loop option. Make sure it's off. All right, set your voices to one. And this looks pretty good as we would like to see it. So let's name this. I'll call it Demo Chop. And there is a specific place where you want to save this. All right, so let's go to your user library here in the browser. Go to the defaults folder. Then the slicing folder. And this is where you want to drag your preset. And that's pretty much it. So now we just give it a run, right? So let's close this demo chop track 
and let's go back to our target. Right click, slice the new MIDI track, quarter note, and let's choose the demo chop slicing preset. And I love how quick Ableton slices a track. So let's toy with some of these macros as we play. So this has been a really simple tutorial and I hope you guys take this to the next level. Create your own unique styles of sample chopping. This is Jay Blongs signing out. When it comes to Ableton, I feel like all these other doors are paper thin. Everybody, everybody trying to play to win. But I feel like I just play to relate what's within. Trying to win the Grammy, it's a gamble. Ambition lights your path up like a candle. I don't really like to like the sample, but when it comes to slice, you know I got the handle up. <laughs> Jay Blongs. I'm really signing out now.